the Cujo on the show, I guess. <laughs> yeah. The loyal, protective St. Bernard slobbering all over everybody. <laughs> you know. No, I do. I, I do want to know. Have have they uh, had conversations with you yet? I know some people know the ending. Some of the cast seem to not know the ending. And not, I don't want to know how it ends, but like, what what was Norman's reaction? as far as you've gotten in this final season before the spinoff and everything, like, how do you feel about where it's going? Like, is there a hype? Is there a sadness? Is there like, what, you know, what do you, what do you think about it? It's kind of mind blowing where we're going. It, you know, we did uh, the first 10 episodes kind of in a, in one direction. And that involved Maggie's story mostly and, and us trying to uh, deal with what's going on with that as a group. And then all of a sudden we did a 180 and it now it's kind of like uh, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. All of a sudden it's, it's completely different. Uh, and that's kind of having, you know, we're all doing the exorcist right now. All of our heads are spinning in a circle. So um, we're all doing the exorcist. <laughs> yeah. We're all Linda Blair right now. It, oh, it's uh, it's, I mean, things go from, from a black and white Western to a Technicolor Willy Wonka film like that. And it's, it's crazy. Oh, that's going to be, it, it's, it's that's wild. Yeah. Have you, have you shared any of these final story threads with Andy? Have you guys been in touch about the story? I I've had a FaceTime with him the other day. Um, he's playing a bird watcher in some film right now. Uh, so he sends me pictures of his bird watching outfit. Um, uh, but we, you know, we talk about the show, what it's like now. We've got a lot of new casts. Uh, you know, we talk about some of the OG hair and makeup people and crew members, and we gossip about all of them. Uh, I mean, that could be a whole nother show on AMC too, uh, Andy and Norman gossiping. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we 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 keep in touch. I, I keep him, you know, sort of. Uh, and, uh, we laugh about all the uh, roosters that were in his uh, trailer. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, dude, are, are you, I got, this is the obligatory question, but are, have you have you had any conversations about whether or not you'll be part of the movies when this all wraps up or are you gonna be super tied up with your own spinoff? I don't think anybody knows what's going on with the movies now. I, I, I hear different, I hear different answers from different groups. So I think it's kind of still up in the air what, what the movie, thing is going to be i think it's i think it's changed hands a couple of times and changed perspective a couple of times um that's that's i don't know anything about it i'm just gonna leave it at that i'm you just know? gonna i'm I, just gonna toss it out there on record i want to see you in there i want to see that rick and daryl reunion i have to have it one day i want a rick and daryl reunion as well and <laughs> i i you know i don't want it to be for nothing i don't want it to be cheap i want it to be a i want it to be a real thing you yeah, know what i mean i don't yeah. yeah, you see, that's this, I, 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 that to me is this franchise's endgame moment. You know what I mean? I agree. I I without a doubt agree that the relationship between Rick and Daryl was one of the most powerful relationships on the show, and for me personally, and yeah. one of my most uh, one of my most favorite moments uh, relationships to play. So I I'm right there with you. I hear you, man. Yeah, maybe we'll meet on like some sort of apocalyptic grinder or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now listen, beyond.